Yeah. Um, but, you know, either way, Ollie Behrman um, was Ollie Behrman. phenomenal. I am his new number one fan. But, I, well, actually, I'll say number two behind his dad. Um, yeah. Oh my god, but, his dad, all race long, all he, he, the race and qual- someone get that man like twenty stress balls because I know of he was he was stressing the entire time as yeah. he should have. Oh yeah, so to take a step back, we feel, I feel like we skipped a hundred steps because we just are obsessed with Ollie. So he is the reserve driver for Ferrari and Haas and Haas currently driving in F two. He actually got pole for the F2 race, but yeah. then found out, like... What? No, you're not driving! Uh, yeah, you're not driving. You're actually going to uh, take Carlos's place and qualified fairly well. He almost, like, beat out uh, Lewis Hamilton, which is insane. Um, and he actually did really, really well. And I'm yeah. so excited for him. Yeah, and I mean, we we kind of he was so he was the best performing rookie in the the rookie sessions last year. We saw him twice at Haas in the young driver sessions, um, and and we we knew he's good. We knew that. Um, and then obviously, you know, driving a Haas from last year is markedly different from driving the twenty twenty four Ferrari car that he had two and a half hours of notice. He caught the call from Fred at two o'clock on Friday. Um, FB3 was at 4.30 local. Um, he, he's like the first Ferrari rookie since 1972, which is a long time ago, even though in my brain, I think that's only 30 years ago. Um, and he's the first British driver to drive for Ferrari since like Eddie Irvine in 96, which was supposed to be Lewis, but then oh Ollie's God. like, excuse me. That meme... Of, like, the train and the bus where it's, like, Lewis Hamilton becoming the first British driver in, like, 30 years. And then it's just, like, Carlos's appendix. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) I died laughing seeing that. So all, good. all of, Love all you. of the, those memes, and then of course the reminder that Ali Behrman was born the same year Fernando Alonso <laughs> won his first drivers' championship. Um, oh my god! Cause... It was just like it was such a good weekend for aging Fernando Alonso. Like all of the yeah. aging jokes of or dreams came alive. Like it was amazing. Absolutely. Yeah, and and he he drove you know after an hour's notice and you know a, a really solid qualifying he drove one heck of a race and he like I loved at the at the end of the race when they showed him on um the the radio afterwards I don't know if you heard this because you were in the car um but he immediately started debriefing. And he's like, oh, really? I could have done X. Yeah. He, he immediately was like, oh, I could have done this. I could have done You're this. So like, I, I I, love it. And he's like, like this very tall, like, he's 18. He's, he's, he's an, a un- baby. A baby. But oh. he drives like, you know, I mean, he beat Lewis Hamilton. I know. He drove really, really well. Speaking of Lewis Hamilton, I know you have your issues with him. But I think it was such a class act for him to be the very first person standing there. Oh, like, oh, yeah. To congratulate Ollie. Because, like, Ollie's 18, right? So all of the Hamilton glory years, like, he's a British driver. Ollie's, you know, a British driver as well. Like, Lewis Hamilton has to be up there as one of his, you know, heroes or someone he looked up, oh, yeah. looked up to growing up. So for him to congratulate him on his debut race, like, that's so, so cool. And I know Seb texted him and, like, said good luck and all these people, I think it's so cool. And they're such great sportsmanship to see all of these people supporting a driver, not on their team, but just seeing, you know, a new young driver come into it and do so well on his debut. I think it's really cool. Oh, oh yeah. Ev- like everyone wanted to see him do well up and down yeah. the grid. I, 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 I loved the, the clip of Lewis going and being that first one. George was right behind them. I think the funniest thing was all four British drivers on the grid finished one behind the other. It was Russell, then Behrman, and then Norris, and then Hamilton. So all of them <laughs> were yeah. together, um, which is just like one of those really fun, funny coincidences um, that just like tend to happen in Formula One, just like another layer of like entertainment. And then he was just like, everything about it was just so exciting. And he really proved that he is another one of these drivers who's not on the grid, who needs to get on the grid ASAP. Because imagine, like, if he knew for the full weekend he would be racing, right? 
Like yeah. If he had FP1, FP2, FP3, who, who's to say he couldn't have done better than P7? Maybe that's not necessarily true or fair to say, because he did struggle a little bit, but if he had two more practice sessions, like, maybe that would have helped Yeah. Him. Like, I know he really wanted to fight with Russell, um, who was yeah. ahead of him, and I mean, he would have absolutely loved to, like, go toe-to-toe with Alonzo. Like, yeah. all of that was just, it, there. there's so much potential in him. And you know how there's, like, a really great way to bring in more Formula One drivers? It's having more teams on the grid. But Catherine, why would we ever do that? Why it's would we ever want to F one? Why would we ever want there to be a, an eleventh or maybe even twelfth team on the grid, which we talked about in one of our winter break episodes that I will link above if you're watching this on YouTube. Once I figure out which one it was, um, because I cannot remember off the top of my head because we've had a bunch of episodes lately. Ugh. Yeah, I I would have loved to see Bearman fight with Alonso just to hear all of the commentary around. The, how much older Fernando is. The age gap. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. But um, but yeah, no, he was definitely standout. I'm glad he got driver of the day. I think that's by so a massive margin. and he got a huge margin too, which is really exciting. Um